Greetings, I'm Professor K, and in this short video presentation, we're going to see how we go about creating a new default document for our website up inside of IIS. So currently, we don't have any content inside of our default website. And if we go over here to the right window pane, underneath Actions, you can click on Basic Settings, and you can see where this default content is normally located. It's up inside of the system root inside of a folder called INET pub and then inside of another subfolder called www root. What we're going to do now is we're going to create some default content up inside of this www root folder. So let's go down to our file explorer. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we're going to go to the root of our C drive and we're going to go to that INET pub and there's our www root folder. Now inside here we can create that default content that we want to appear when somebody logs on to our IIS website for the first time. So let's go ahead and just right click inside this white area and let's create a new text document. We have to give this new text file a name so let's just call this my new website. So I'm just going to type in here real quick my new website dot text. So I've given this new default document a good user friendly name and I'm going to call it my new website dot text. And what we have to ensure is that we only have one extension. To do this, we can go up here to View. And over here, we have to make sure that this box is checked where it says File Name Extensions. We want to make sure that the file name extensions are being shown so that we don't have .text, .text. So make sure that you do that. And you do this each time that you create a new default document for your website. We don't have anything inside of our new website.txt file. So we're just going to open this up, just double click it. And I'm going to type in something here that's going to appear when somebody opens up the website for the first time. I'm just going to type in, welcome to my new website. So this is going to be my welcome message when somebody logs on to our server for the first time. This is what they're going to see. I'm going to go ahead and close this out. I'll save my changes. And I'm going to go ahead and close out my file explorer. And let's return over to our IIS manager. So I'm back over here in my IIS server, and you'll see that the default path now starts to make sense. Up inside of that www root folder, we created a new default document. Now I have to tell IIS that that's the default document I want it to present when somebody accesses our web server. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK to this. And up here inside of the center window pane, go ahead and open up your default documents. And we're now going to add that default document by going over here to the right menu underneath Actions and click on Add. Now I have to type in the name of that default document exactly as I typed it inside of the File Explorer. So now I've typed in that file name that we created up inside of that www root folder exactly as it was spelled. Now I'm going to go ahead and say OK to that. Once you're done configuring the new default document, you'll notice that it goes to the top of the list, letting you know that that is going to be the document the web server is going to use when someone accesses the web server for the first time. So that's going to conclude our short video presentation on how we go about changing the default document for a website up inside of IIS. So if you have any questions or concerns about any of the material that was covered in this short video presentation, Please don't hesitate to reach out and contact your instructor, and I'll see you in my next video.